A mortar was usually a simple, lightweight, man-portable, muzzle-loaded weapon, consisting of a smooth bore although some models used a gun barrel metal tube mounted on a base plate to spread recoil under a light load. Bipod mounts and sights, they launch explosive shells technically called bombs in a high arc ballistic trajectory. Mortars are usually used as indirect firearms for close fire support with a variety of ammunition. A mortar tap consists primarily of a solid rod or spigot, into which a hollow tube in the projectile fits, reversing the normal tube mortar arrangement. At the top of the tube in the projectile, a cavity contains a propellant, such as cordite. There is usually a trigger mechanism built into the base of the spigot, with a long firing pin along the spigot which engages the primary inside the projectile and fires the propellant charge. The advantage of spigot mortars is that the firing units are smaller and lighter than conventional tube mortars of equivalent payload and range. It's also somewhat simpler to manufacture. Furthermore, most tap mortars are barrelless in the conventional sense, meaning ammunition of any weight and diameter can be fired from the same mortar. The disadvantage was that while most mortar bombs had a rearward streamlined shape suitable for tap mortar applications, using space for the mortar tap tube took up the volume and mass of the projectile payload. If a soldier only carries a few projectiles, the projectile weight loss is insignificant. However, the heavier and more complex weight of a large number of tap projectiles offsets the weight saved. An almost silent mortar can operate on the tap principle. Each round has a sliding plug that fits inside the tube which fits over the faucet. When the bullet is fired, the projectile is pushed out of the spigot, but before the plug releases the spigot, the projectile is held in by a constriction at the bottom of the tube. This traps the gases from the propellant charge and hence the gunshots. Rebel groups often use improvised, or, homemade, mortars to attack fortified military installations or terrorize civilians. They are usually constructed from heavy steel tubing mounted on a steel frame. These weapons can fire standard mortar rounds, specially made rounds, gas cylinders filled with explosives and shrapnel, or any other type of improvised explosive, incendiary, or chemical ammunition. Most modern mortar systems consist of four main components, the barrel, base plate, bipod and sight. Modern mortars typically range from 60 mm in, to 120 mm in, in caliber. However, larger and smaller mortars have been produced. Modern mortars are muzzle-loaded weapons and relatively easy to operate. It consists of a barrel into which the gunner drops mortar rounds. When the bullet reaches the bottom of the barrel, it hits a fixed firing pin which fires the bullet. The barrel is generally set at an angle of between 45 and 85 degrees, 800 to 1500 mil, with a higher angle resulting in a shorter horizontal trajectory. Some mortars have a movable firing pin, operated by a lanyard or trigger mechanism. Ammunition for mortars is generally available in two main types, fin-stabilized and spin-stabilized. The first example had short fins on the back, which controlled the bomb's path in flight. The stabilized mortar bomb rotates as it moves and leaves the mortar tube, 
which stabilizes it in the same way as a rifle bullet. The two types of rounds can be smoke illumination rounds, high explosions, and training rounds. Mortar bombs are often referred to, incorrectly, as, mortars. The operator can fire stabilized rounds from either the smoothbore or the gun barrel. Jointed mortars are more accurate but slower to load. Since mortars are generally muzzle-loaded, mortar bombs for gun barrels usually have a pre-carved band, called an obturator, which is connected to the rifling of the barrel. Exceptions to this were the US 4.2-inch M2 mortar and M30 mortar, whose ammunition had an expandable sub-caliber ring that expanded when fired. This allows the projectile to slide down the barrel freely but grips the rifling when fired. The system resembles a mini ball for muzzle-loading rifles. For extra range, propellant rings were attached to the bomb fins. The rings are usually easy to remove, as they have a major effect on the speed and range of the bomb. Some mortars can be fired without additional payload, for example the 81mm L16 mortar, 